full size room is dope, bro. I did that. You did it years ago. I did it last year, bro. That's but dope, though. That shit was flavor. Nah, I wanted to sneak it shopping. You come, bro. What's up? I'm here, baby. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in New York City at Stadium Goods with Top 5 Dead or Alive and the Versus King, Jadakiss. What's up, Joe? How you doing, man? Gonna do some sneaker shopping today. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. Let's go. Jada, I know like favorite Jordans change year to year, but in 2013, we did a complex feature for MJ's birthday and you said the twos were your favorite because it was the first one your mom got you. Do you remember the white, red, and black twos? Is that true? Those are all my first pair, but they they aren't my favorite anymore. Okay, so they but didn't- My first pair was definitely the, the high top twos. I mean, you know, at that time it was, you was just happy to get your hands on whatever J you could. It was only the ones and then no. Yeah, so, yeah. It was the second drop. I missed the first drop, right. so I was, I was, you know, I was ecstatic to have them. Yeah, and then like later, going to your grandmother's for Easter, like, did she surprise you with like New Balances, like the Worthies around yeah, that time? Yeah, the Worthies, definitely the Worthies. I remember those. And uh, grandmother was holding you down when she could. You know, I would, I would play the game, get, get some money from mom and dad, mm -hmm. hit an uncle or two and finish off strong with grandma, so you, you know what I mean, you're good. Yeah. You compile. Yeah. And then let's go to 2000, we have to talk. You say locks came through and hopped out the Lex with the Air Force Ones with the yellow checks. And when you wrapped that, everyone was looking for Air Force Ones with yellow, yellow checks. checks yeah. What was that moment like? The Air Force One phase, that was like my, really my first introduction into collecting sneak. I learned about Maya. I already knew Clark Kent, he was helping, he actually helped us put our first lock show set together. So Clark was like our big brother, mentor, and you know, he put me in the sneaker game really also, but Air Force Ones was my first love. So just collecting them and always rocking the all whites with the different color checks was my high school. That was the drip for high school yeah. and just around my neighborhood in general. And then a year later, knock yourself out video. The screenshot still goes like on Twitter every few months. You with the Gucci. The Gucci swoosh. Yes. Yeah. yes. How did you get those? Or where did it come to like, this is what I'm gonna rock for this video? I'm not sure if Groovy Lou or the general Darren Dean from Rough Riders was responsible for that. Okay. But it was probably either either them separately or collectively, along with 5001. And was like wardrobe type stylist or what? What was yeah, it? Yeah, that was for, you know, my album. That was part of the styling for the album. So they had them outfits already put together. So one time, one in my green room or whatever, they like, yo, we got the Gucci Air Force. And like in the video, they, they zoomed yeah, in they on zoomed it. Yeah, they zoomed in on it. You yeah. know, back then that was a big thing. Jada, one thing I like about you through the years, you've been involved with a lot of sneaker brands. Like you've done a New Balance, Reebok, of course. Do you ever think sneaker deals should be exclusive? I mean, the deal has to be right. I might bend for Nike. Okay. Adidas, Adidas has a nice bag out there also. Yeah. But um, it has to be lucrative for yourself, you yeah. know what I mean? Even like last week, Kanye on Drink Champs was like, I should be able to wear Wait, Nike. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, what do you think about should, that? What'd I you mean, you know, yay, yay is yay. Is yay. Maybe he might change the, the way things go. 2005, the game was changed. You're in Portland, Floyd Mayweather has a fight and Jordan Brand is sponsoring the fight and you see Michael Jordan and you're in Jordan head to toe. Where are you getting this intel from? And then, <laughs> it's great. Talk about that moment. Yeah, it was a Mayweather fight in Portland. I was there courtesy of Jordan. Okay. So, of course, they loaded me up with kicks and gear. So, you know, it was only right to 
put on some MJ gear. Yeah. He like, yo, you look good, man. Anything you need. No, he like, what do you want? Yeah. And I'm like, what do you mean, what do I want? <laughs> and I'm like, everything. Yeah. So he told somebody, make sure you get everything. That's what I heard. He said, make sure this guy gets everything. Yeah. And yeah. sure enough, the packages have been consistent since then, right? Yeah. I mean, sometimes my, my, I guess my address gets knocked off the scene and list that sometimes, <laughs> but for the most part, they take care of me. It's been well documented, you've talked about it at length, but the Allen Iverson commercial, do you put that as the best sneaker hip hop commercial crossover of all time? It's definitely up there. Yeah. If not the best, it's, it's definitely top three. I think Push has one, mm -hmm. Styles has one with Garnett. There's a few, but I don't think none is topping me and, me and AI. And Stout always says that song was on the radio. Yeah, that got played in clubs. It was on mixtapes. So yeah, that's number one. It's nothing. That's Definitive. it. Definitive. Love it. it. Jada, kind of a sore subject. We're at the Grail case. Very expensive sneakers. But one sneaker that stands out, the MoMA Air Force Ones. You had those, right? That has to be the stupidest thing I ever did. <laughs> what happened? At my, uh, I got twin, twin boys. I'm not sure if it was their fourth or fifth birthday. I played a bunch of basketball and um, it then gave them away. You then I seen what they was going for <laughs> and I was ready to chop my arm off. <laughs> I was still getting calls for them after, you know, people know I wore them and played ball and they still won it. And I, I gave them, I forgot who I gave them. Come up for them. Super come. During the pandemic for Complex, you actually filmed your collection. So many like standouts, PlayStation, Air Force Ones. What are like some other grails that you have, even looking at this case, any like really valuable ones? Scars? Scars. Um, wow. I actually had two pair because the first pair were too big, so I gave one to my son. So Vapor Max. $40,000 though, the scars. Can yeah. you believe that? Got this, yeah, that's crazy. And is it the son who's celebrating his birthday today? Yes, happy ha birthday. Happy birthday. Another thing I want to talk about, your son, you said that you would send him shoes, you'd go visit him at college, and the shoes wouldn't be there. Yeah, he was he was running the stock market down in <laughs> Clark Atlanta. Well, I'm busy trying to make sure his years in college is good and he don't have to worry, his grades don't have to suffer because he, he looks good and he ain't got to worry about keeping up. And he down there selling them. When I get there, there's none of them there. I'm like, yo, dog, where you at? He's like, dad, you know how much you can get for these? Okay. Yeah. See some skippies next to me. <laughs> Smart businessman, though. <laughs> yeah, he can't be mad at me. Well, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Browse the shelves, see what you're going to take home. Let's do it. Let's do it. Definitely need both of the potters. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Those is must have for the drip and for me in my old age, the comfortability. Word, word. Definitely gotta get these. These for my manager, though. <laughs> Show a little love is, is only right. I started from Air Force One, so I got a different kind of love. For those, I need these Tokyos right here. You know what I mean? Shout out my man, Ronnie. I need these just to relive my high school career. And I need these just cause. I'm gonna finish off strong with the dunk plums. I really just lately got into the dunk situation. So I'm gonna finish off strong with the plums plus I like plums. <laughs> Juices for life, baby. So your total after everything is going to be $2,697.33. And we have two gifts from us to you. Cleaning kit and then the Stadium Goods Varsity Jacket. Oh, appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Thank you.
So, Jadakiss came through, told some great stories, got some pairs. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thanks for having me. I can't believe I made it here. I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much, man. Check out new music, new everything on the way. New music, got a coffee coming. Make sure you check out Juices for Life, Pharmacy for Life, LOX, everything.